we looking? Hair's a little messy. Del Bucket just shaved his beard off again. The guy's got the best hair. Guys, quite honestly, this is a Father's Day gift, if anything else. All right, this was fun. This was a heck of a lot of fun. It is the CB Giddy Hubcap Howler Guitar Kit. It's loaded with CB Giddy's Paint Can Lid Dobro Cone for a great old time sound. I just built this over the weekend and I've been having a blast with it. <laughs> guys know I've built so many CB Giddy kits, probably seven or eight, if not more, over the years. And I've got to say, I think this is my favorite. It's simple. There's no electronics. It's all fully acoustic. And I just love the sound of it. Uh, the action is extremely low. And it plays phenomenally. It was easy to put together. Now, whenever I do CB Giddy kits, I customize a few things. Uh, and I did this special curly maple finish on here. This is not how the guitar comes. This is a technique I found on YouTube what you're gonna need is some wire, a butane lighter, or a butane torch, and some dark stain. I've got a full blog, and all the details you're gonna need, check out the description below, and I'll show you how to do this. It was really cool. This body started out as white birch, and by the time I got done with it, it just, you tell me that doesn't look classic. Now the neck, I tried to do it with the neck too and this was one big complete failure because I used a lighter stain on it instead of a darker stain. So instead of curly maple looking it just kind of looks like giraffe spots. But that's all part of building your own guitars. You try new things. Sometimes you fail, sometimes you nail it. <laughs> enjoy building instruments from kits uh, so this one was a lot of fun when you get one in four strings it is tuned G D G B G D G B and I have a lot of lessons on how to play four string open G on YouTube <laughs> anytime I have a choice in making a fretted cigar box guitar, especially with some sort of dobro cone, I always go for four strings. That's my own preference. Some other features, uh, it's fully fretted. You don't have to add frets. Fret dots are screws and they came already in there. So the neck comes completely done. The only thing I really changed on it was I added this little piano, grand piano scroll. It's sort of reminiscent of the Rezo Electro I built that has the same type of scroll. Just wanted to have a little fun and change up the headstock. The conventional giddy headstock is rounded like this. So all I did was shape it a little and give it my own personality. I always round the back of the neck or I at least gave this like a V neck. I use a router 
to round the backs of my CB Giddy necks. Okay, so CB Giddy kits come with these squared off necks. When you get it, the whole neck is just like one big rectangle. What I like to do is I use my router table to route out a curve on the back. Right now with this one I used a simple straight routing bit to give me a nice little V there. When it's done, it gives you this. And I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna sand this. And after I sand it, I put my hand on it and I just kind of shape the whole neck to fit my hand to make it feel good to me. I'm still working with this. There's a few things that I wanna tweak on, such as here. I'm getting a bit of a fret buzz on the high string and it simply has to do with the bridge needing tweaked a little bit and that's kind of the fun of building your own instrument uh, with this I may put a very extremely small shim on the bridge just to lift it up a little like that and that will get clearance for the high string uh, was this something that was at fault from CB Giddy Probably not. It is humidity. It is, you know, next move. Every one of my guitars back here needs to be tweaked every once in a while from humidity and just the environment. One of the things I hope CB Giddy does, and this is my nudge, nudge, hint, hint, wink, wink to them, is it would be cool if they would sell a second bridge for this kit that was just a little higher so that it would be a slide guitar. Uh, they made this thing so well that the action is so low. It's perfect for fretting. It feels like an electric guitar. Other features are it comes with the cool metal corners, really adds a nice look to the guitar. It's got this uh, barrel trapeze tailpiece. The whole thing just looks fantastic. It looks authentic. It sounds like 1937 and I'm just having a blast with it. And again, this fake curly maple finish inspires me because it looks like a 1930s instrument and it makes me wanna play the old deep 30s blues. So I do wanna thank cbgiddy.com for sending me this kit and I had a blast making it. Guys, quite honestly, this is a Father's Day gift, if anything else. Um, whether for you or for someone else's old man that likes music and likes to tinker, this is a Father's Day gift. They sell at CB Giddy for 110 bucks for the whole kit, and you're going to have a blast making it, and I'm having a blast playing it. So thank you, CB Giddy, for the kit. Uh, you're not getting it back. And... I love it. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, for more of this stuff, subscribe. Maybe now I can learn how to play as good as Del Puckett.